Hello, everyone. We are at San Diego's Comic Con 2018 with. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Kobe Firmer. And this is On the Spot Interviews. Kobe, it's so great to meet you. How has your day been today at Comic Con? It's been really great. Um, this is my first San Diego Comic Con, so. Yes, now, how does the energy and the vibe of this Comic Con compare to New York, which you've been to many, many times? Um, they're both very hectic. Mm -hmm. um, this is the second day, and it's still very hectic, so I don't know. It's yeah. uh, really big. Yeah, it's it's a huge convention. I think 200,000 people they're up to, which is crazy. Um, but what's really cool is you not only get to be here and, you know, kind of talk about your show, but you also get to um, see other shows and, you know, meet people from other shows that you're interested in. So let's start with, tell us about your show on Netflix and Marvel. Um, well, I was in uh, Marvel's The Punisher. It's um, a Netflix show, and it's about this guy, um, Frank Castle, and he's um, an ex um, an ex marine, mm -hmm. and his family was killed, and um, he's just trying to get revenge and make right to his family by everybody um, that was involved in the murder of his family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's really cool to kind of see. I feel like a lot of other superhero Marvel DC comic type shows they have mostly adult cast so I always love when the younger generation my generation your generation can get involved and watch and enjoy it and you know experience everything the thrills without being as violent or as you know rated R if that makes sense so yeah, yeah it's great and um, what have you done so far at Comic Con the past couple days that was your highlight well, today's actually my first day. Oh, your first time. First yeah, day, yeah, I flew in last night. Um, today I went to the Marvel booth. Um, oh, saw a couple of people I knew, and I've just been walking around, seeing the whole place. It's really big, so. Yeah, it's it's huge. I mean, I can't even see the end of like the hall, and I'm like looking straight on. There's also people in the way, but still, it's just so big. Um, and who's your top like three dream people to meet here? Whether they be comic book artists, other actors, who are you like? I have to see them. Um, I don't know. I, I really couldn't say, but um, <laughs> I just I could meet anyone I want to meet. Like I. Anyone that I could meet, I would really would want to want meet. meet. Yeah. And um, who was your acting inspiration? Is there anyone specifically, or did you have a really awesome teacher back home and you did theater like as a kid? How's that? Well, um, ever since I was little, I would just watch TV, you know, like Disney Channel, Nick Jr., that kind of stuff. And um, I just always wanted to be on TV. I wanted to be like one of those um, kids. Mm -hmm. And look at you now. You are one of those kids, right? Yeah. And um, are you still at a public school or are you homeschooled? Um, I would actually have never been to public school really? or homeschooled. Okay. Um, I go to a private school called Professional Children's School. Oh, wow. That's a cool name. Uh, yeah, it's in um, Manhattan. And um, it's like this school that... Um, it helps kids with a career outside of um, school, mm -hmm. so they have a lot more tolerance and lenience for you missing school. I, I love that. I don't think that exists in L.A. Campbell Hall is like that type of school, but even then, like, you pretty much, it's not as lenient. So I didn't even know that existed. That's awesome. But even with that, is it still sometimes hard to balance it? Or are you ever like, I just want to memorize lines. I don't want to work on this paper. Oh, uh, well. I really love school, so. Oh, good. But it's um sometimes it can be a little challenging. Mm -hmm. Like if I have to do seven auditions and I'm working the next day, yeah. and Then I have my finals, so it can be challenging. But um, I'm usually able to work it out with the help good. of my school. Good. Yeah, I know it's not easy. I went through the same thing. So props to you for kind of, you know, being good at managing your time. I know it's not. It's I know it's hard sometimes. Um, so beyond Comic Con, um, what other hobbies do you have, kind of in the superhero world? I know that you're you've always really been into the superheroes. Um, well, my parents would say I'm a trivia expert in um, all superhero stuff. I like. I really just love reading about them. Mm -hmm. I've read comics and stuff, but um, I mostly like reading like encyclopedias about oh, them. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I can just I read from. Um, the every single page about like all the characters and and the all the Marvel universes. So, wow, and that is not easy to keep up with. I must say, have you been on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride? I have to ask in Disneyland. On the oh no, I no, haven't. It's amazing. It's what Tower of Terror used to be. So it's like a you know it's a drop ride, but it's super fun and that's obviously Marvel. So it's like maybe you've been on it. We'd love to keep up with you. Um, I be, I've been following you on Instagram and Twitter. You're posting some awesome pictures on your story. For everyone else, can you just um, give your Instagram and Twitter for us? 
Um, my Instagram is Kobe Frumer, and um, I believe that's the same with my Twitter account. Perfect. And Kobe with the I, right? Yeah, K O B I. Perfect. Yeah, I know there's like three different spellings for that name, actually. So good. Thank you for clarifying. Well, Kobe, thanks for making time for me. Have fun at the Nintendo party today. That sounds awesome. I'm very jealous. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun. You will. Well, thank you, and have a great rest of your time at Comic Con. Thank you. You too. Of course. Thank you.